Moi moi, it is Nina, you're watching Fairy Chamber channel. I'm back with more Finnish pagan holidays. And today we are going to talk about Martinpäivä. In pagan Finnish Wheel of the Year, Martinpäivä began this time period called Jakoaika. And Jakoaika, it was believed to last from September till December. And it was time period when all these spirits, fairies, goblins, witches, shamans and uh, dark spirits, dead people, ancestors, they would um, walk on the earth among with the living and they would be the most powerful during that time, during Jako Aika. In Estonia, Martinpäivä is Martipäev and it is celebrated um, November 10th. And Martinpäivä was also celebrated in Finland back in the days on November 10th. It was a custom in Middle Age France that children and poor people would go to monasteries and they would handle them these cakes called soul cakes. And then with each cake uh, the receiver would pray or protection for some passed away person. Then uh, with Reformation in the 16th century Saint Martin was turned into Martin Luther. The starter of Lutheranism because Finland was Lutheran country after that for quite a while. So it was first St. Martin's Day, then it was Martin Luther's Day. In Estonia Martipäev it was a massive celebration. It was the biggest harvest festival in Estonia. In Finland the biggest harvest festival was Kekri and I have another video about Kekri which I made about a year ago. I will put the link to the description box you can check that out. So Martin Päivä in Finland that began the prepare, preparation for Kekri, really. And in the Finnish Pagan Wheel of the Year, uh, Kekri was the old New Year. So in a way Martin Päivä that really began the old New Year because it was the beginning of the Kekri season. There were some traditions connected to Martin Päivä and these were visiting your relatives and visiting friends and also it was a custom that people should, should make amend with the enemies because you should not argue when the year changes. There was also this belief that after Martin Päivä all the water areas would get frozen so it was the last day that people were allowed to go fishing to open waters. After that you should only go ice fishing. And also that was the last uh, work day for the shepherds. So shepherds they started their long winter holiday. Obviously you cannot go to take care of the sheep after the snow comes in Ingria. And in Estonia there was custom to have these big uh, Martinpäivä Martipäiv masquerades. And I also have a video next week coming about Martipäivä in Estonia, so keep an eye on that if you want to learn more. In Estonia there was these little groups of children who went from house to house to have little plays and performing songs against some treats, so it was a bit like trick-or-treating. In Finland all these festivities they took place in Kekri, not in Martinpäivä, but Martinpäivä in Finland that was big uh, food holiday or people gathered together to eat. And some of the foods that people ate were, were pork, um, sheep, meat, uh, blood, sausages and barley bread. I'm a vegetarian so I can only eat barley bread from this. But that's what people used to eat in Martipel in pagan Finland. Thank you so much for watching guys and looks like I've got lots of new subscribers recently so big thanks to you all and I hope you enjoy my videos and as always you can share my videos if you think someone else might enjoy them as well. So thank you for watching guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to hear more cool pagan stories from Finland and around the world. Take care and moi moi. 
Thank you for watching. If you are interested to learn more about Finnish mythology and folklore and ancient customs and beliefs, I have an 8-week online course called The Heart of Mielikki, which is a deep dive into the world of Finnish mythology and all the different deities and legends. You can find more information about it on my website, fairychamber.com, and I will also add the links to the description. Have a great day, make good choices, and I will see you next time. Bye!